Okay, scissors. Paper clip. Straw. Tape. Protractor. A note card are all you should need to draw your sextant. Now, in the event that you are, do not have a protractor this size, but your protractor happens to be a bit smaller or a bit larger, that it does not span the length of your note card end to end, you can instead, in order to do the one step that we'll get to in a bit, where you cut out the um, note card, you can instead trace out the curve using the protractor, since otherwise the your protractor may be too small. So instead you can use a compass. And accomplish the same goal, tracing out the same distance instead of using the protractor using the compass. Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to make a sextant. It's a device that you can use to measure your altitude angle. Um, here's a sample of one I already built, rather crudely. But you can see I have, um, if you look here, you got the degrees. 90 degrees would be like up where this red line is. And you got 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 10, and 0 degrees down here at the corner. And I got a straw here you can use as a sighting device. And when you look through it, and you tip it up to a certain altitude angle, you can lock it into place and read off what angle you're looking up at. First thing you're going to want to do though, is you're going to want to have a protractor available. Now one shortcut is you could actually use the protractor, but then the numbers wouldn't line up. Notice here we got 90 instead of 0, and over here I have um, 10 degrees right there. And a standard note card here can line up the line for the protractor right on the red one. So it's like right on, oh, gotta get into the view here. I here we got right on the red line right there and then end to end also and draw that starting over here and get that part drawn side to that side. Then after you have that curve drawn in there, I'm going to now try to find the center point of this thing so I can measure it. And actually that's pretty easy because I already have a little hole here at the crosshairs. that to mark where the center is at. Okay, end to end there. And I tip this, rotating it a little bit this way. And flipping it over. So I got now I got the numbers a little upside down here. But I can read them off. Got the 90 now at the red line. And I got the hole over in the middle. Zoom in on that for a second. Let's see, you got the hole there in the 90s where the red is. And now we're going to number them. So now it becomes 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
70. We'll mark there for 80. I'm going to mark the other side here. And the next one will be 90. And of course, we can do the in betweens 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. Okay, so after we number these, just basically to keep track, so you see I put them on the outside of the line, and I end up, let's get a little closer, I've got them on the outside of the line, I'm going to end up ultimately having them on the inside of it. And so now, and now we see we get the numbers along the outside. I'm going to put them on the inside. Before I do that, I'm first going to draw these little lines, kind of like spokes, going out to the different degrees. A uh, line going from that little hole I drew at the beginning. This one at zero. Ten. Twenty. 30, 60, 70, 80, 90. And next thing we do is then we cut this out on that curve, but we don't cut the top part. And then we end up renumbering them on the inside. So after we're done cutting, of course we discard that. And have it numbered with the increments in between. And then we use the paper clip. Now with the paper clip, there's a temptation to just kind of pull it open like that, but don't do that. you got to keep it flat. But I recommend just leaving it flat on your table and pulling it open. So it stays flat while you're doing it. Maybe it shows better against this background. See, so it's staying flat. Pull it open. There we go. And... So now it's open all the way that way. Then remember that little hole. Okay, we don't need this part anymore. The little hole we got right there. We now punch this part through there. And open this up like this. I'm going to slide that under there too while I'm at it. Punch it right through. Ow! Get your finger on that. Okay. Okay, all the way punch through. Tighten that up. And there it is. Almost ready to go. One other, oops, one other thing. I should have done that when I had it flat. Well, no fear. So I can kind of pull this out. Put it back in later. I want to tape the straw on there. Now, one thing about the straw is it got this little bent thing here. If I cut it right at the base of where it bends, and in this case, I even got a little bit of extra. Don't need that part. Let's tape this part on here. If you got a tail that's not too sticky, you could just keep everything laying down when you tape it. Back here, watch that. I'm going to tape the card to the table. And I pull the card out. I got a nice flat tape there. And I can slide the straw right into place. On this side, anyway. Then you can tape the other side. Just a little, not too much. And put the little 
piece back on there. And I straighten that out again. And you got a sextant. Notice how it swings, the little metal thing swings freely, always pointing down because of gravity. And there you go, you're ready to measure altitude angles.